in schools like this one is struck the first spark which with proper care will grow into the desire of accomplishment that guarantees a strong and free nation. But in this school, as in many others, the door of opportunity to learn doesn't always swing open for every student. A problem exists. Stated simply, not all first grade students speak English. Yes, in our country, the United States. It's no secret that English is a weird language, weirder than most. In the 1950s, Mexican students who were starting elementary school were struggling with their grades because they didn't know how to speak English. In 1957, Isabel Verver and Felix Tijerina founded the Little School of 400. Its goal was to teach Spanish-speaking children 400 words in English to help them successfully pass the first grade. Verver, a teenager who wanted to help out her community, taught the class. The school was held during the summer of 1957 in Ganado, Texas, and taught 60 kids. The program was so successful that the next year, LULAC, the League of United Latin American Citizens, held similar classes in other towns like Edna and Aldine. These programs were privately funded, but Verver and Tijerina, along with the other members of LULAC, worked to pass a bill during the 56th Texas legislation. House Bill 51 introduced a state-sponsored program called the Preschool Instructional Classes for Non-English Speaking Children. This program was later replaced with others, such as Project Head Start. Project Head Start started when President Lyndon B. Johnson caught sight of the success of LULAC's programs and decided to spread this across the country as part of his war on poverty. Of course, it's no secret that English is a weird language. But thankfully, with all the work from LULAC, the technology and programs we have today, Non-English speaking students have many more resources to help them learn this confusing language.